What is going on my Lucid Dreamers? Yes, in this video we are talking about Lucid and their potential merger with CCIV. If you've been paying attention to the market today, specifically to CCIV, you would have seen the insane volatility and attention that the stock has had today. It actually halted at some point this morning, rocketing from about $16 to $17 in that range to as high as $21 at one point. A massive run that it had. We're going to look at why this happened, looking at some of the potential catalysts, specifically today, as well as some of the level 2 data. And thank you to VTAs on the Discord channel for pointing out the level 2 feed to me. Obviously, I've got a lot going on during the day, so I can't take a look everywhere. And that's why I love our Discord community. Everyone works together to provide as much information as possible when we are entering or exiting or planning on specific trades. The link to join the actual Discord community is free. It's in the description below. But if you want to join some of the paid discussions, the link for that is going to be in the Patreon and you can check out some of the benefits from the tiers. We've got our first giveaway coming in February. Details to that coming soon. With all that out of the way, let's jump into exactly what's moving CCIV today. First things first, I did add shares today at about $18, bumping my cost average from $12.60 to $14.60. We're going to take a look at why, and just looking at the price action on the stock right now, you can see how much volatility there's been today at lows of 1636 and highs off the halt here at nearly $21. On the level two feed that was shared from one of our members on Discord, there was a 700,000 share seller earlier when this popped to over $20 and this proceeded to cause a tumble in the stock as you can see here and we're going to take a look at the trading view chart a little bit later to look at some of the technicals but again you have to remember when you're looking at a stock that's moving on momentum like this the swings are going to be very large and you can't really look into technicals technicals are a great way to look at a stock that's already established itself on the market and the swings aren't quite as volatile in that sense you are able to use a bit of a technical approach to weigh into your entry and exit points but when you're looking at a stock like cciv which the movement is just bananas in that case, I really don't like to look at moving averages. I don't like to look at relative strength because in any second, this could just flip the switch and go tumbling down or rising up into a halt like we saw earlier today. More so based on speculative rumors and just catalysts than technical analysis, right? One thing that we did do today is we started to sell covered calls. So when this did pop between that $18 and $20 range, we did sell some covered calls at the $25 and $30 strikes. Personally, I sold my covered calls at the $25 strike, netting me a gain of $250 in cash instantly on the premium. One of our members ended up getting in at four dollars and ten cents after the halt unfortunately my timing was terrible i sold my covered call right before the halt netting me a 250 premium if you want to learn a little bit more about the strategies we're using there again the link for the discord and patreon are in the description below now jumping into twitter this is why stock twits has been blowing up so much today on message volume cciv is the number one trending stock on stock twits Alex Cutler, he posted today that Lucid was having a meeting at 11 o'clock Pacific time, two o'clock Eastern, where they would be disclosing certain information on that internal call. Now there was rumor of potentially CCIV being announced as the merger candidate on this call. And Alex here provided an update for us 15 minutes right after the call ended. I don't know how accurate this guy is as a source because when I was scrolling through his Twitter feed just about three or four months ago, it looked like he didn't have as many followers. I I don't know how credible he is as a source. Honestly, his posts are all over the place. So there's a lot of speculation and hype based around Alex Cutler's tweets, which are getting a lot of attention. And again, he's not a confirmed source. Now, like I said, I did add shares at about $18 today, bringing my cost average slightly up to the $14 range. And I may have pulled the trigger too fast there because like I said, after digging further into Alex, Looking at him as a source, he doesn't really look that credible. And this was a great moment for me to step back personally and realize that I also just made the mistake of potentially FOMOing into a trade. I already had a great cost average. There was no reason for me to jump in at $18 when potentially this is all still a rumor. Sometimes you really have to just take a step back, look at yourself and ask yourself, Am I approaching this trade out of emotion, out of the fear of missing out, or is this a calculated trade? All of our trades this week have been very calculated. We've made great returns. This trade specifically today for me was one of those moments where my emotions got the best of me. Hopefully the merger rumors do come true and this ends up being a great add onto my position. One thing that it did allow me to do is increase my share total up to the point where I could sell an additional covered call. And now I'm looking to potentially make back some of my position by selling that covered call. Again, probably at the $25 or $30 strike, depending on what the price 
price action looks like next week. I did want to bring your attention to one technical. Again, I'm not looking to read into technicals on this yet because this is such a fresh, high-flying momentum stock. But looking at the technicals today, the double-legged doji on this is very, very evident. A lot of action both above and below the current trading price. As you can see here, we're trading at 1850. All the gap here and all the gap below here indicates how volatile this has been today. And you can also take a look at the volume, almost as much volume as when the rumors of the merger were first announced. And like I did mention in my previous video, most of the speculation here on the CCIV and Lucid merger is building a lot of hype around the fact that Andrew Liveris is an operating partner on CCIV, but also on the board of directors for Lucid. That single connection between CCIV and Lucid paints a pretty good silver lining when we are trying to figure out whether or not this merger is actually going to happen. You also have to consider some red flags, rumors, of course, that potentially this is a way to pump CCIV before the merger rumors fall off. That's just something that you do have to consider. Combine that with the fact that Alex Cutler is not a confirmed source and you have a recipe for a very gray area and a reason for all this volatility that we're seeing today. Now, as far as looking into whether or not Lucid itself is gonna be a great long-term investment, a video on that is gonna come in the future once details of a merger actually come out. Once those details come out, expect a video from me on the investment opportunity for Lucid Motors and how I personally plan on investing in it, trading in it, and so forth. If that is something that you're interested in, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Like the video and make sure you check the links out below. You can still earn five free stocks if you sign up for Weeble. Valued up to $3,700. That promotion has been bumped to February. Weeble does offer fully extended trading hours from 4 a.m. to 8 p.m. Otherwise, you could also look into M1 Finance, Interactive Brokers, or Quest Trade, and the links with the incentives are gonna be in the description below. I hope that you guys found this video entertaining and or informative. As always, I'll catch you all in the next one. We, what is go, what, what is going on my lucid dreamers?